In question three, we have to find the product in each of the four parts. So let's start with the first part. In the first part, we have to find a square into 2a to the power 22 into 4a to the power 26. So we will multiply the coefficients separately and the algebraic factors separately. So the coefficients from the first term is 1, so we don't need to write it. In the second term is 2, so we take 2 and in the third term is 4. So in the second term we have 2 and in the third term we have 4. So the coefficient in the product will be 2 into 4 and then we take the product of the algebraic factors. So we have a square from the first term. We have a to the power 22 from the second monomial, second expression and we have a to the power 26 from the third um, third term or third uh, expression in the product. So 2 into 4 is equal to 8 and then a square into a 20 to the power 22 into a to the power 26. So we basically have to add all the three exponents 2, 22 and 26. So the sum of 2 and 22 and 26 is 50. So we will get a to the power 50. So 8 into a to the power 50 which we can write a as 8a to the power 50. So this is the product in part 1. This is the answer for part 1. Now coming to part 2, in part 2 we have to calculate 2 by 3 xy into minus 9 by 10 x square y square. So we will multiply the coefficients separately and the algebraic factors separately. So the coefficients are 2 by 3 and minus 9 by 10. So we will multiply these separately and the variable parts are x y and x square y square. So we will multiply these parts separately. So 2 by 3 into minus 9 by 10. So minus 9 by 3 is minus 3 and 10 by 2 is 5. So we get minus 3 by 5 as the coefficient of the product minus 3 by 5 and uh, in the product of the variable parts we have x into x square that's x cube and we have y into y square is y cube. So we get into x cube y cube and we can write this as minus 3 by 5 x cube y cube. So this is the product for part 2. This is the answer for part 2. Now coming to part 3. In part 3 we have to multiply minus 10 by 3 pq cube into 6 by 5 p cube q. So once again we will multiply the coefficients separately and the algebraic factors separately. The coefficients are minus 10 by 3 and 6 by 5 and we multiply these separately and the variable parts are p q cube into p cube q. This is how we will calculate the product of the variable parts. Alright, so in the product of the coefficients we have 6 by 3 as 2 and minus 10 by 5 is minus 2. So minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. This is the coefficient of the product and then we have p and p cube which is p to the power 4 and q cube and q is q to the power 4. So we get p to the power 4, q to the power 4 and we can write the final product as minus 4 p to the power 4, q to the power 4. So this is our answer for part 3. And finally we come to part 4 in which we have to calculate x into x square into x cube into x to the power 4. So the coefficients are all 1 and the variable is the same. So we simply add the exponents and this means that we will get x to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and this sum in the exponent is 10. So we will get x to the power 10. So the answer for the fourth part is x to the power 10. And with this we have completed question number 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.